Okay, we got ourselves a um, HP Slimline that um, basically powers up with no picture, and I'm about to show you how to repair the motherboard. Uh, this is how you disassemble it. Um, you're going to take out uh, three screws to take the cover off. with a Phillips head screwdriver and just slide the cover off and uh, we're going to want to take the uh, front face off here which is uh, this piece to be able to slide the CD drive out and it's done by the little levers inside here if you can see there's a lever here all the way in the back on the other side all the way back there you're going to push that, and there's one here, and also um, on the other side as well. That takes the front off. It's off. We're going to have to take this uh, CD drive out of here. There's little levers here. Just push it up. Going to take the SATA cables out. Okay. Um, at this point, um, you're going to have to take, of course, the modem card out. Uh, also, the heat sink needs to be unbolted, and uh, it's going to be a screw there, a screw right there on the corner, and uh, a screw right there, and one here. And that's going to take the heat sink off. Kind of loosen all four sides a little bit for you. Unscrew it all the way. Now there's going to be a um, power connector for this fan that needs to be taken off as well. Right here on this area. On the top part with the white, it has the uh, black, red, and blue and yellow wire. Just pull that. Okay. Now we're going to have to, you know, unhook all the connectors. 
you've got the power supply connector here on the top part. Okay. You've got the um, SATA connectors that need to be taken out for the hard drive. USB front bus, all those need to be unconnected, just pulled out, and uh, audio here. Okay, and that should actually take care of all the connectors. Um, there's screws that need to take the board out. You've got one under here. You've got one here. Um, here. Just make sure all the screws are out of the board before you lift it up. Okay, at this point, all the screws should be um, out of the board, but you're going to have to take, let's see, and this should lift out. Sorry, that's kind of hard to do it one-handed. <laughs> okay. Set this to the side. You got your board. Okay. Of course, the problem here with it overheating is this uh, graphics processing unit underneath this heat sink which we need to take out. Take the heat sink off so you can see. Okay. Basically it's pushed down and move over on both of the prongs and then you get to the chip. These, this chip here, um, overheats and comes on solder from the board and causes the picture not to show because that's a graphics processing unit there. Um, so what we need to do is clean that, of course. Take all the thermal paste, if there is any. And in your case, Probably not because it hasn't been reflowed before. Okay. Um, and uh, the secret is the flux, so we can heat up the solder points on the bottom and um, you can use a, a heat gun basically for about a minute on it and that should do the trick in my case um, Heat gun doesn't do as well as this because it doesn't distribute the heat evenly, but um, not too bad. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to put this board up here and uh, 
my little trick that I do is I put some um, some quarters on the top of this so it can kind of you know weigh the uh, chip down so it can make a proper connection to the board again so I use well, about about eight nine quarters throw on the top here and then like I said if you're using a heat gun what you're gonna do is you're gonna kinda go around it don't put it directly over that you can hold it at an angle and kinda go in a circular motion for about a minute on low and then let it cool down before you put it in this one we're gonna just turn this on and let it work for a few minutes 